Hey everyone, my name is Giz and this is Team Lucid Dream. When it comes to lucid dreaming, there are a few guidelines that you must follow for success. We've already talked about reality checks and dream journals, we've even talked about the techniques and methods of lucid dreaming, but that's secondary to a solid sleep schedule. In order to lucid dream, we need to dream. And in order to dream, we need to sleep. If you're depriving yourself of sleep, then you're missing out on the longest periods of REM in your sleep cycles. And therefore, you're going to not get your best opportunities to become lucid in a dream. This is because our REM stage of sleep, where most dreams occur, starts out at about 10 minutes long. But the stages of REM get gradually longer with each sleep cycle. But we'll learn more about sleep cycles in a future video. The average person will get three to five dreams per night, with about two hours spent in the dream, assuming that they have eight hours sleep a night. Getting significantly more or less than eight hours a night can really impact your health in a negative way. You can find more about how sleep affects your your health in the description box below. So now you might be wondering how you can optimize your sleep schedule in order to lucid dream more effectively. While you may find it difficult to go to sleep at night, each night on a like a regular basis, you may find it easier to wake up at the same time each morning, either to go to work or go to school. A good way to start a clean new sleep schedule is to wake up at the same time every single morning. Yes, that even includes weekends and getting out of bed soon after. So if you want to wake up at 6am every morning, then an ideal time to go to sleep will be 10pm. Even if you only have four to five hours sleep a night because you can't go to sleep, if you wake up at the same time each morning, you create what is known as sleep debt. Eventually you'll find that you want to go to bed earlier and earlier each night, and it will be easier for you to fall asleep at your ideal time. This will most likely not be fun and takes a little bit of work and time to do, but the payoff of a healthy sleep schedule and the maximum potential benefits for potential lucid dreams is worth it. So if you have any other tips or tricks other than the sleep debt way that I've described, then please let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, then please give us a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing if you do want to, that is. And if you need more Team Lucid Dream in your life, then please go to Twitter at Team Lucid Dream. We also have a forum, teamluciddream.com. And just get involved with the community, man. Just do it. And don't forget to ask us your lucid dreaming questions for a chance to get answered in every Friday's Q&A videos with Geo. And until next time, dream on.